everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to play Jingle Bell Rock. This is a really fun tune. I love playing this Christmas classic, and I hope you'll enjoy playing this arrangement. I hope you're having a Merry Christmas. I do have Tab available, and I have a coupon to save 20% on the Tab if you're interested. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up, and ring the bell if you don't want to miss a video, and do check out my teaching website, invisibletechnique.com. There's some freebies you can download there, and you can browse my courses, including my daily exercises program. That is going to be very helpful if you're trying to build your guitar technique and you're feeling like you just kind of don't have a plan. The daily exercises course is a great way to get there. But in this video, I'm going to break down Jingle Bell Rock in all the different sections of the tune, and I'm going to show you all the bells and whistles I like to throw in there. To begin with, I'm going to walk you through the entire arrangement and just point out the different sections so that we can break them all down individually. So it starts off with the intro like this. The A section. Repeat the A section. section. The C section. section with a walking bass. The B section with some harmonics. in the C section. B turn around. <laughs> Alright, it's hard to play all that and talk at the same time. So, we're going to start off, of course, with the intro. Now, we're in the key of D major. And we're in standard tuning and I'm using a thumb pick on my right hand here you don't have to use a thumb pick but I think it's a nice way to create some separation between the bass notes and the melody and I don't use fingernails by the way I'm just using the pads of my fingers so the intro slides up to this pair of notes it's a D and an F sharp which is the 15th fret on the B string and the 14th fret on the E string and we do three we play that three times, and I just do a little strum, and as you'll see, my first finger here is muting that G string, so I can strum those notes and get that sound without the G string ringing out, because that doesn't sound very good. And then we go, so we play kind of like a D major 7 sound, C sharp and an F sharp there, 14th fret and 14th fret. And then we go so that is that D and F sharp again 15th fret and the 14th fret on the B and E strings and then the pinky plays the 17th fret on the high E string and then we come down here to the 10th fret and we're using the first finger to create a small bar. And then we do this really cool riff. And I'm just playing that with the right hand with my thumb pick and my index finger. And then, then we go 12th fret, 12th fret on the B and E string. 
with the ring finger and the pinky and we bend like a half step bend from that B to the C so that's what it is 10th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret, 12th fret and then bend release the bend back to the 10th fret and then we do a little G string action we play the ring finger on the 12th fret the G string and the middle finger on the 11th fret of the G string so far we have pretty cool isn't it and then we go we play that A harmonic on the 12th fret of the open A string and then we walk down which is A G F sharp E and I'm playing that in octaves with the index finger and the pinky so the index finger is on the 5th fret of the low E string the pinky is on the 7th fret of the D string move it down a whole step and then a half step and then open E and E on the 2nd fret of the D string that's the entire intro. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now we're ready to jump in to the A section. The A section sounds like this. So we start playing this D major triad. So we have an F sharp, 11th fret of the G string, an A, 10th fret of the B string, and a D, 10th fret of the E string, and an open D. And then we change to this chord, which is a major 7th, D major 7th. So we have open D, we have F sharp, 11th fret of the G string, and then a, 10th fret of the B string, and then C sharp, 9th fret of the E string. But when we play that chord, we actually hit the A bass note, because we want to create this. That's the bass line, and we have that going at the same time as the jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock melody. So hopefully you can see I'm just kind of strumming that with my right hand using the index finger. And then we go. So now I'm creating a bar there on the seventh fret with my index finger. Seven, seven, seven with the open D ringing out. And then the pinky plays the ninth fret of the high E. And that's going to feel very uncomfortable if you hold it for too long. But when you're playing the song, it goes by very quickly. But when I'm showing it to you and when you're learning it, it's going to be tricky to hold it for an extended period of time. And that's a D6 chord because we have the D, we have the F sharp, and we have that B, which is the sixth degree of the D major scale. And then we slide down here to a D major, which is a regular old open D chord. We're going to play it like that with that fingering. So with the first finger barred on the second fret of the mainly the G and the E strings and then the middle finger on the third fret of the B string. Because we want to play that bass bass riff. So the bass is going there with the ring finger to the fourth fret of the A string. C sharp note. So far we have and we're going to do a little, little punchy swing note. I like to pick it back near the bridge there, walking into the next part of the A section. So.
minutes. That's that same D major sixth chord. And then we go to a diminished chord here. It's an E flat diminished seventh. So we have the notes E flat, A, C, F sharp. We also have an A there on the top, which is the melody note. So those frets, for anyone who doesn't know the notes on the fingerboard, which I highly recommend you spend some time learning the notes as soon as you, <laughs> you can. We have 6th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, and the 5th fret. And of course I do have tab for this entire arrangement and a coupon to save 20%, so do check that out if you're interested. I know many of you will because this song sells like hotcakes. It's crazy. I've sold so many tabs. So that's the diminished chord. And then we play this chord, which is just an E minor seventh. So we have the first finger bar in the seventh fret, and then just a minor seventh bar chord. Seventh fret, ninth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret, seventh fret. E, B, D, G. And then the pinky plays the melody there. The melody is B, C sharp with the pinky on the 9th fret of the E string. And then we play this inversion of an A 7th chord. So we have open A, and then we have C sharp on the 11th fret of the D string. We have E on the 9th fret of the G string. And we have G, that 7th, flat 7th, on the 8th fret of the B string. And I like to throw in the E harmonic there. You don't have to, it's a bit of a stretch. But we have. We're almost there. This is halfway through the A section, I believe. So far we have. Okay. From there we go. That's going from E minor seventh to an A seventh, and we're going to walk up the melody. So this is an E minor seventh chord. We have E, G, D, and E. The first finger is barred there on the fifth fret, which again that's going to feel uncomfortable if you hold that chord for too long, but it moves by pretty quickly in the song. And then on this A seventh chord, we're going to play that inversion of an A7. So we have the first finger barring that fifth fret again, and we have the middle finger playing the sixth fret on the G string. And so we're just playing those two melody notes over that A7 chord. A to B, fifth fret to seventh fret on the high E string. Repeat that just once on the A, the second repeat. So it's. And you notice I'm lightly strumming the back beat, meaning the two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You don't have to do that, you can if you want. The back beat gives it a little swing and a little percussive effect but it's not necessary to playing it, playing the tune. And then we play this G bass note. And then... So we play the G bass note and then E. Play that chord, which is an E minor seventh of sorts. So we have the open E being played, and then we have 5th fret on the D string, a G note, 7th fret on the G string, a D note, open, e, open B, and then a B note on the high E string, 7th fret. And we're actually going... That's the melody. So we're just rocking back and forth between the open E and the B on the 7th fret.
And then we're going to play the melody at the same time as the bass line. So the melody is... And the bass line is... And that sounds like... So we have that E minor 7th. And then we play A bass note. At the same time, really just playing that B melody note in the 7th fret of the high E string. And then I like to do this chord. Kind of sounds cool. We have the G bass note played with the ring finger on the left hand, low E string, 3rd fret. And then we have the 1st finger and the 2nd finger playing on the 2nd fret of the G string and B string. And then we just walk the bass down. The tricky thing is to get that Now the jingle rock has begun That phrasing. So the, the melody is and the bass is I'd recommend just looping that. Okay, so that's the entire A section. Three, four. repeat the A section but we have a different tag on the end so I'll show you how that fits together we repeat and you tend you tend to do that little phrasing okay so we go from that E minor seventh chord just move the whole shape up a whole step and then we resolve on a D just like a big trio of D's there open D D on the seventh fret of the G string and then D on the tenth fret of the high E and then we start the bass walking up and then we're in the B section Okay. First time. Into the B section, but I'll start the B section breakdown from that walk up with the bass notes. Jumping into the B section now. The B section sounds like this. One, two, three. C section. So we're starting with the bass walking up and it starts on the two. One, two, three, four. So it's open, thumb on the first fret of the low E string, second fret. And then we play that riff. You can of course simplify this if you don't want to play the walking bass, but it's pretty cool. One, two, three. In that shape, there's just two notes being fretted beside the bass note. It's the fourth fret of the G string, the third fret of the B string, and the melody is sliding up from the third fret to the fourth fret. The melody is high E to a D. And then we go to a G minor. So the only note that changes is that B going to a B flat. Beautiful sound. And then we go. So that's like a D major chord. 
So we're not playing that high E note. Check my tuning here. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> so that's the melody. That's the D major. F sharp in the bass, open D, second fret of the G string, third fret of the B string, and then a little hammer on. Hammer on, pull off, hammer on. No. Hammer, pull off. Just a hammer pull off. There's the little flourish. To an open B. And then A. And you try to get them all to ring out against one another. Easier said than done. That's the beautiful thing about acoustic guitar is we can get open strings to ring out against one another. It's a really beautiful sound. The bass is going. Whoops. And the bass is going. And the way we play that is. Okay, it's tricky. So we have those three notes ringing out, and the pinky plays the. Fifth fret of the, of the A string, and then the middle finger comes here to play the fourth fret of the A string, and then we play open D. So we play the D, and then we play the B flat note there on the G string, third fret, and then we have a little dissonance going on. We play the E flat. With the first finger on the D string, first fret, and then we play open B, and then pinky on the third fret for the melody, up to an E7 chord. And so that is open E, and then second fret of the D string, fourth fret, third fret, open. to that inversion, which is E, D, G sharp, B, D, and E. So far in the B section we have one, two, three. Just finish off with this A chord. You can play any A chord really. I like to play that one. And it's just a short stop. Now this has a bit of a stretch in. I'll show you an easier way to do it. But we do a stop on the A chord and that stop is just A, C sharp and then a barred first finger on the D, G and B strings. And then we're playing double stops. So we got ring finger and pinky on the seventh fret of the D string and B string. And then we have sixth fret and the fifth fret on the G string and B string. On G string and E string. And then we have a little slide. Seventh fret. And then sixth fret, fifth fret. And then we do this tricky little thing. So basically we're going... And you could just go... But I like to be tricky with it. <laughs> so what I'm doing is playing the bass line at the same time as... That's the way you could do it. I'm so used to doing it the other way. So what I do is I play the high C sharp, 
and then I play the B harmonic. So the C sharp happens the same time as the A bass note. There's just two notes going on. We have the open A, the C sharp, and then we have the B harmonic with the pinky on the seventh fret harmonic of the E string, G in the bass. And then we have F sharp in the bass and A harmonic, seventh fret of the D string. <laughs> it's a big stretch. And you can't just play that, okay? Perfectly adequate. Just doesn't have the harmonic fanciness. Okay, that's the B section. I'll repeat it once more. One, two, three. what I call the C section. Okay, let's go into the C section now. Now the C section sounds a lot like the A section, except it goes into that mix and a mingle with the jingle and beat lyric. It sounds like this. Something like that. So we're starting this walking bass motif, and we're going to continue this walking bass motif in the next A section. So once we learn this C section, we've kind of learned half of the next A section already. So that's that's cool. It's like killing two birds with one stone. So we're starting off with this shape with a bit of an unusual finger, and we have the pinky on the D on the F sharp note. <laughs> it's a D D major chord. Pinky's on the F sharp. Middle fingers on the A, ring fingers on the D. And the bass plays D, and then F sharp. So the F sharp's on the ninth fret of the A string. And then we play the same phrase. Same phrase with the bass, I should say. So we're down here, D, F sharp, and then C sharp, and that same bass going from D to F sharp, and then we play, and this is a little tricky one because we play D in the bass, while we play that 7th fret barred 1st finger pinky up there on the seventh fret. Except when we come back, when we go, <laughs> hard to explain. We play the A bass note at the same time as that 777 barred D6 chord. We come down to this, it's a D major on the top and then a B bass note on the bottom. bass walks up to the C sharp on the 4th fret of the A string. Okay, so we have and then we walk up from this D6 chord to a B7th. And then we go into a little harmonic moment there. But for this section, or for this motif, we go to the D6, melody on the pinky, C sharp. And the bass goes from D to F sharp, ninth fret of the A string. And then A, open A, same time as the that D and F sharp note. play a C in the bass at the same time as an A on the B string. 10th fret of the B string with a pinky. And then we play a B 7th chord. And I like to walk up the B 7th to that inversion of the B 7th. 
it's just a regular B7 power chord and you can just hang on that or you can come up here which is E flat 11th fret of the E string 9th fret of the D string 11th fret of the G string 10th fret of the B string and then we do the mitts in the middle riff and you can just play something like that but I like to play I like to go so what I'm doing there is I'm just holding this G bass note down with the middle finger on the 10th fret of the A string and then I play with the pinky the 12th fret harmonic and then I play the 7th fret harmonic with the index finger on the G string okay and then pinky is playing the high E 12th fret harmonic And the tricky bit is to go, is to hold that B flat note. It's a real note, it's not a harmonic, but you have the first fret, sorry, the first finger playing the seventh fret harmonic, and that E harmonic on the twelfth fret with the pinky all ringing out against each other. So it's, it's a bit of a stretch, especially if you're holding it for a while, but it goes by quickly in the song. And if you wanted to play a simple version, you could just play. Okay? And that's just. You just play like G bass note and open G, and then the pinky, and then D to E, D, and then B flat, D, E, D. But if you're an overachiever like me, <laughs> You can do like this. And then we move the bass down from the G to the F sharp and play. That's the jingle bell rock. So E minor seventh with the melody on the high D note, tenth fret of the E string. And an A seventh chord, A, E, G, C sharp. And the ring finger slide out there, the 12th fret. And then we do those kind of sequence of chords. D, so F sharp, A, D, and then a G. Well, I guess it's a, it's just the root and the third. So we got G, G, and B. And then walking down, F sharp, F sharp, A. E, E, G. And that's the bulk of the song. So I'll just repeat that C section for you. Let's take it from the top and I'll just show you what we have so far. We have the intro. A section. Repeat in the A section. And next, we'll 
we'll go into the A section with a walking bass line. If you've made it this far in the video, good job. Stick with it. If you are having trouble with your technique, I do have a technique course called Guitar Daily Exercises. It shows you a lot of left hand exercises and right hand exercises, but the left hand exercises are especially applicable to this song, which has a lot of left hand coordination going on. So do check out that if you need a little help with your left hand technique. It's at invisibletechnique.com, which is my teaching website, and the course that I'm referring to is called Guitar Daily Exercises. Okay, the walking bass A section sounds like this. Into the next B section. Okay, so we've played most of this before. We've played this in the C section. It's all the same. Set. This time we go to an E flat diminished chord and then an F sharp diminished chord. And then this is all the same E minor to an A7. And then we go, this is a really tricky little line. So it's just basically going the same melody as before, but we go. Basically going. Like an upright bass kind of thing. Honestly, I wouldn't worry about it unless you're really, <laughs> really dedicated. It's, it just doesn't feel great under the fingers, but it is kind of a nice little addition to the arrangement. Because my arranging rules include not repeating sections exactly the same every time, changing them up a little bit to keep the the listener's uh, interest there. So from there, we go here. We go. So it's A and A. And then B and G sharp, and then C sharp and G, and then D and F sharp. Walking up to the B section. So let's go through that repeated B section. It's mostly the same as the first time, but there are a few little, little harmonics that I'll show you. The next B section sounds like this. Pretty cool, I like it. So we just start off the same as the first B section. And then we go into this harmonic run, play the D, D harmonic on the seventh fret of the G string. And then we play the C sharp note and we let that ring out against it. And then we play the pinky on the 12th fret of the B string. And then A, seventh fret harmonic on the D string. F sharp note, hear that ringing. Beautiful sound. So it's D harmonic, 7th fret of the G string, C sharp, B harmonic, 12th fret, A harmonic, 7th fret of the D string, F sharp harmonic, 7th fret of the B string. And then we have the bass going. Bass going. Playing the melody up here. So sliding up 11th fret to the 12th fret. To the D note. And we have E to D. And then I play octaves. B, D, E, D. And then finishing on an A. Walking down from the B, B 
flat to A. And then this is all the same that we already played. And then we play the C section as before. So this time we do a turnaround. Okay, so it's the same, it just repeats that twice, actually three times. And then we repeat the intro. Almost, it's the outro, so it's... Finishing on a beautiful D major 6 chord. And that's the whole tune. So let me just explain those sections once more. We have the intro, we have the regular A section, and then it repeats in this different turnaround. We have the B section, then we have the C section, which has the walking bass, mitts in the mingle thing. And then we play the A section with the walking bass, we play the B section with the high harmonics, we play the C section, the mitts in a mingle part, and then we repeat the turnaround, and then we play the tag outro to end so there we have it let me play the entire piece for you now have some fun a one two a one two three Mm-hmm. <laughs>